What's going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. Before I get into the meat and potatoes, this video is brought to you by DAT Solutions. You can get 30 days free if you sign up. You need an active MC number, whether it's yours or a company that you're leased to with authorization because they will check. You get 30 days free to try it out. You can find all kinds of loads from reefer, dry van, flatbed, step deck, RGN, drop deck, Conestoga. And there are sometimes there's uh, box truck loads, not a lot. So DAT Solutions, go check them out. The meat and potatoes of this video. So last week, I do my one run for the day. I, I'm, it's Friday. I do my run. It's about midday. I'm getting ready to go home. Well, actually, I do go home. And I'm looking on the board um, to see if I can find something short. So I found something short because, let me, I, I was looking for another load because the, the local guys, we don't make any money. All the money is made over the road. And local guys don't make any money, right? Well, we don't foresee local guys putting stuff on YouTube. I know, because we're making all the money. We don't want you making all the money either, right? But anyway, <laughs> so I'm looking at this. I was like, oh, man, I, I just need to make some money because I, I run local. I need to make some money, man. Shoot, I need more money. I need more money. I can't call the weekend. I need to make some more money. And I don't run the weekends. Well, I don't run Saturdays. You know why. There's, that's a couple videos back, right? So I see this load. It's a cheap load. It's a low-paying load. It's a, I shouldn't call it cheap, but it was a low paying load, really low paying. So I called a broker up. I say, uh, hey, I'm interested in this load right here. He gives me the details. It's like, oh, man, I can't do it for that, but I, I'll do it for, I can do it for 225 bucks. He was like, all right, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'll just send it over. Let, let's just get it done. So 225 bucks, man, that's that's a low paying load. Shoot, man. So so I go back to the I'm a, I was at home, so I go back to the truck because over local guys don't make any money. So I had to keep gotta keep the wheels turning. So I go back to the truck. I'm like, man, I really don't want to take this load, man, but I gotta do what I gotta do. So I rolled the landing gear on the, the flatbed down, man, and I pulled the the, the pin, the the you know the handle for the fifth wheel i released the pin and i'm taking my airlines off man and i'm i get in the truck and i go down the road it's a low paying load man i mean man what am i going to do because i run local shoot so i get in i go down down the road a couple miles i go to this parking lot and i see what i need to do I'm looking at this trail. I say, man, this is a low paying load, man. What am I going to do? Because I'm local, man. I don't make no money. So I go down there and I back up to the trailer and I hook my the, the connections up and I roll the, the landing gear up. Then I put the truck in gear and I pull the trailer out the dock and I kind of like jack it around a little bit and then I park it. Then I roll the landing gear back down, and then I take the all the hose and stuff off, and then I drive a couple miles home. <laughs> so, probably about maybe two hours, probably not even two hours, maybe about an hour and a half worth of work from going there and coming back. So, two hundred twenty-five bucks. I mean, I can't, and I didn't. I pulled the trailer, maybe probably total distance, maybe a hundred yards, man. So this is. This is why once you get up to, once you have your foundation established and you get your authority, you can do things like this. Now, if I was leased to a company in that scenario, right? If I was leased to a company and this particular move uh, paid me $225, he wanted to pay less, but he needed it done. So this particular move, so let's say you, you take 20, let's say your lease to a company takes 25%. So you call on the load. Load pays to 25. So you subtract your uh, 25%. I did the calculation early. I don't remember exactly what it was. It's like it was either 168 or $158 and some change. That's what you would have got 
after the company took their kind of 25%, right? Now, here's the problem. Here's one of the problems that I found that I never really talked about with leasing on is let's say you have this ideal load. Picks up at a good time, good location, delivers at a good time, good location. The rate is close to where it should be or rate where it's one of where where it should be. And you call your dispatcher or DM, hey man, I got this load from XYZ brokerage, and they come back and say they're not on our list, or they are a do not load, <laughs> or right, the one, okay, well, we can get you set up, okay. Well, in order to get set up, it has to go through the legal department, which doesn't get set up that same day. It usually is a process because they want to look over the contracts and all that stuff. So in that aspect, it's worth it to get your authority. So I, I don't know if anybody ever talked about that, but I'm talking about it. So I'm bringing it to your attention. So there was many times when I was leased to the flatbed company, to where, even the reefer company I was leased to. To where I would call on the load and it will be, I wouldn't say it would be perfect, but it will be an ideal load to where it picks up at the right time. You know, I'm not, not one of those two or three o'clock AM deliveries or anything like that. Normal, you know, normal hours. Ideal. Mileage is right. I mean, the, and the, the money's right on the, on the load. The broker's credit is good, right? But for some reason, they couldn't get the agreement together with the handshake and all that stuff. So that's one of the issues that when you lease on, that's one of the issues that can arise. Now, is every company like that? No. But some of them are. Um, so, and the reason why I'm bringing this up, because I was asked, you know, is it worth it getting your authority? And those type of situations where you can go down the road, move a trailer, you know, from one spot to another spot and then go home and your your profit is off the charts, you know. I mean, that to me that's a no-brainer. Um so that it was this I don't know what the theme of this video was, but that's some of the stuff that you can do if you have your own authority. You know, you don't you're really not tied down to any one specific thing um you can go over here go over here go over there up here down there and as long as your insurance uh fits the criteria of whatever needs to be moved and you're qualified and got the permits and all whatever you whatever you need and you're good on that the sky's the limit i mean you can do anything um so short video um, yeah, there's some lips, some subliminals in there, but I talked to, uh, one of the cats off of, uh, I ain't gonna tell you who he is, but, you know, I talked to some people off of YouTube, and, uh, he's like, man, you be throwing subliminals, like, what, what was subliminal shot, I don't throw the subliminals, he's like, yeah, you do, he said, well, listen to your videos in backward, <laughs> listen to your videos in reverse then, I was like, I know, man, yeah, I'll be throwing subliminals, but it's, don't take it personal. It's just, you know, some of us, some of us do certain things for a certain reason. And it's just another way of communicating. That's all. But if you want me to call names, I'll start calling names. I have no problem calling names. I'll start calling names. But that's all for this one. We'll see you.